All right, this video is how to use the square, the circle, and the arrow, and how to find them, and how to put them on a photo in Photos on iPhone. So first we open it up, pick a photo, hit edit, go to the three little things here, click on that, it brings up your markup box, hit your markup box, opens it up, go all the way to the little plus sign on the very bottom, click that, it's gonna give you a box, and you're gonna see in here you got a square, you got a circle, and you got an arrow. We already did this, uh, cartoon bubble bubble so let's let's go to the arrow first so now we've got the arrow right so we're going to go ahead and move it over here and um if, if you notice it's got a green button and it's got a uh, blue button now the blue button i can pull it and i can point at things like i want to point at her or i want to point at him but the green button gives you the, the ability to bend your your line on your arrow all right now, if you want to change the color, you just come down to the color circle and just hit that, and it changes that. So that's how you use the arrow. But you can also go in here and you can do a double arrow, or if you want, you can do a little bit thinner, or if you want, you can make it even thinner, or you can make it just a single, and you can make that one, you know, they got, they got a couple things like that. You can also make a line, a thinner line, and then even a thinner line. So it gives you a bunch of different options. If you want to change the color again, you can, you know, whatever, you can change the color on it. You know, it does it does all different colors. And then if you, you know, to get out of this box, you just go like that. And that's how you do the um, the the uh, uh, the arrow in the line. So let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's go back in. And um, all right now we're going to go to the circle. Click on the circle, and then you get a circle. Now this kind of works the same way that the uh, that the cartoon bubble did. So what you can do is if you want to if you want to change the aspect ratio, what you do is you grab either here or here, and you can make it more elongated, or you can make it more circular, or you can make it you can do it this way too. But if you want to make the thing thing uh, bigger, you pull here, you pull here. You gotta kind of click on it. Where would it go? There we go. You pull that way. So there you have there you have that. So you can duplicate it or delete it. Let's say if we duplicate it. Now we've got two circles, right? You know, whatever. So let's cancel that. All right, let's go back. I'm gonna show you how this works as far as changing the. Uh... All right, so we're in the circle now. If you want to. You can change the color of the circle. Let's make it red. And then let's look at the sizes that we can go through. Now we can make it thicker, right? Thinner, real thin. Or if we want to just blot it out, we can do like that. So it gives you the same kind of options that you have with the cartoon bubble, basically. It's almost the same thing. And that's pretty much how you use the circle. All right, so now let's go, let's go to the square. All right, look, oh, I got a circle and square. So I put a square around my circle, so you can make different ge geometric shapes. So, so anyway, this is our square. I'm just going to leave it there. Well, if you want to make it bigger, you just pull it like that. If you want to change the, you know, the the sides, you can do this. So your square now becomes a rectangle. Um, you can also come here and you can do the same thing that we did with the circle, and we can change it. We can blot it out. Yeah, and um, so that gives you the effect. Now we've still got our circle in there, and I can't do anything with the circle, right? Because I'm in the square one now. All right, so let's delete that. All right, so now let's go down, and uh, let's cancel that one, and let's go back. Let's open it up, and go here again. So now let's go to the let's go let's go in, and let's make a double arrow. All right, let's make the color red. Okay, good. Now let's go back and let's open up and let's put a circle in there. All right. Now, now let's go back. Let's open this up and we'll put a square in there. Now we've made an awesome design. <laughs> and uh, let's change the color because we don't like that color. Bam. Uh, oh, now now we've got different colors. So let's put yellow. So you could change the colors. And, you know, you have to do it as you do each one. But that's how this works. Let's make it blue. Let's make it green. Let's make it dark. Let's make it gray. You know, you, may, you can make it white, black. 
So that's up to you. You know, you can do whatever you want. If you like that, bam, you're done. If you if you like this thing and you want to hit done, bam, you hit done. If you want to hit cancel, you hit cancel. So you can play with this and make different types of deals. And that's how you use the circle square and the arrow. All right, peace out. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to use Photos app in iPhone. And let's cancel all that. <laughs> all right, peace out. Bye.